I think it is a big problem that that adversarial experts end up canceling each other out in front in a jury's eyes, um, and that means that they have to make an a judgment without the value and the benefit of expertise. And I think we're sort of past believing that the law doesn't um, have anything to do with science and that science doesn't have anything to say for the law. So the first idea is pretty simple. Just educate the jury about the consensus positions. Technically, this is allowed under the rules, um, but I would try to encourage this or maybe make it mandatory. And maybe with the help of some kind of meta-study of economics uh, or other scientific uh, studies. So in the context of medicine, there's something called the Cochrane Reviews, where for individual illnesses or treatments, a bunch of research studies are pulled together and a consensus position is distilled. We need that to use in cross-examination against experts and just to put in front of the jury for all areas of expertise, um, most especially uh, economics, which is what I study. The other idea is that we allow peremptory strikes against experts. Um, so peremptory means uh, without any sort of uh, cause. Um, in in a, a, the jury context, you can get rid of a juror for no reason at all. You can also get rid of jurors for a reason. They seem bored. They didn't answer the question properly. They seemed biased. But you can also get rid of a small number for no reason at all. In the context of experts, this could work really well if you're worried about just a couple of very qualified experts that you can't really point to a reason um, under uh, the standard for um, admitting expert testimony, which is Daubert. You can't point to a reason why they're unqualified, but you do know that their position is outlying. You could just peremptorily strike them. You would maybe each side would get three or five peremptory strikes. I absolutely do not want to shut down the scientists that are outlying with big ideas. Um, I think that uh, that's how scientific progress occurs. And people who think differently from the herd in science are the people who move science for forward. Um, but that doesn't mean that the criteria for publication in a peer-reviewed science journal should really be the same as the criteria that we use to bring in experts in, in, the, in the courtroom. Science and the law are trying to do two different things. And the law can't really use science until science has achieved some sort of level of consensus.